Welcome to Sunday Long Run. So today, I'm in kilometers. And I'm currently at 1.36 kilometers. So I guess that's nearly a mile. And my aim is to do, I'm thinking, truth is I don't know how far I'm gonna go, but I'm thinking around 20 kilometers today. It's absolutely beautiful. Got a bit of sunshine. It's nice and cool. There's no wind. My wife's at home with a hangover. So I'm feeling a bit smug. And you know the nice thing about not knowing about kilometers. Obviously I can work out the distance quite easily, but I'm not so easy with the pace. So I'm just running off feel. The pace right now doesn't mean anything to me. It's what it's saying. It's saying seven minutes, one second, which I think's about, I think's about where I normally am on my long run. I'm blowing heavy because it's the beginning of my run. I blow heavy. Toxic 10. Thank you, Mark. I'd never heard of that saying before. Toxic 10. When you start your run and you start off blowing heavy for about 10 minutes. Just over seven kilometers in. I just had my first gel. I bought three gels for me today. And I'm trying to have one every seven kilometers. So I'll have two, maybe three, depending on how far we go. Ooh. So I'm just in the woods and it's a bit mucky. Ooh. There's just been a load of guys on dirt bikes tear us down here as well. I'm gonna keep my eye out for that. So yesterday I had a nice surprise. I took my daughter to ice skating lessons yesterday at Whitley Bay. And I went down to the park run, not to run it, but just to watch, cheer everybody on. And it was nice, it was, uh, it was good fun to watch actually. And I quite enjoyed that. I had a guy come up to me at the end, a guy called Colin. Colin's a friend of the channel, says he watches the videos. Um, and it was nice for him to come up and, and say hello. A local guy. So thanks Colin, I, uh, I enjoyed our chat. It was uh, nice to get a bit of support in person as well, which was, you know, that was nice. Thank you. If you do ever see me at anything like a park run, I do have a resting bitch face, but uh, <laughs> I am approachable. Please come and say hello. All right, what's the best way to go? I'm gonna have to stop and look at my maps to see the best way. I'm actually in uh, Community Woods at Ashington. It's uh, quite good size actually but there's about a million different paths you can take. Right, I'm gonna carry on down this way. Should meet another path. So again, for anyone that is local, my route today, I've come from Stake Ford along, along the River Wandsbeck, up Sheepwash Bank, over past Aldi, now in Community Woods, and my aim is to go around Community Woods and over to the QE2 Lake, around that one, then follow the follow the spine road down to Camus and then back home from there. This is probably the nicest part of the route because it's nice and quiet in the woods. It's a beautiful day. I'm just having a little rest at the top of this hill. Just to take in the nice and quiet, I'll turn my music off. It's nice and quiet. <sighs> this is why I run. This is the real reason I run. This is lovely. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like if I turn my music back on, I'm gonna disturb the peace. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm gonna take my music off for a bit. I'll put my, put my AirPods away. And I'm gonna enjoy this bit of, bit of calm. Until those dirt bikes come back and ruin it all for me. 
Oh, I have mixed emotions on things like that. I think to myself, oh, they're ruining the peace and quiet, blah, 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 they're dangerous. But you know what, if they can't do it in places like this, where can they do it, I guess? I don't know. Each to their own. As long as nobody's getting hurt, then I'm okay. I'll tell you one thing that is helping, which was pure accident. So I've already said, I set my watch up for kilometers. We've just passed through 8K there. But what I didn't realize is my watch is, is showing me the laps every mile. So I can see the kilometers live. And then every time I do a mile, it's letting me know how long I did that mile in. That's really quite helpful. I didn't know it was gonna do that, pure accident. No, I knew it was gonna do that. I probably set it up and everything. I had no idea. Yeah, eight kilometers, five miles. Boom. It's quite boggy in places. I should be in that footpath down there. But uh, it's quite boggy, so I'm up on the bank and it's it's tougher going, that's for sure. Oh shit. Yeah, it's tough going. Be glad to get to the path. Oh, this is just there. Perfect. Right, I made me way to the proper footpath, which is good. Pretty sure it takes me towards the far end of the woods and then back to where the entrance is over near the McDonald's. Now that sounds weird, doesn't it say McDonald's when I'm in the woods? But just the other side of the woods is, is the town. Um, I'm blabbing. I'm stalling actually. I'm just enjoying my break. I've had a couple of there because it's been a bit rough going up and down some of the hills and in the mud. I've, I've been lucky. I've more or less kept my trainers clean. We're gonna head right down that path. And then back on ourselves and over towards the QE2 lake. As ever today, although I target a distance, it's all about how I feel, taking it easy, keeping it slow, watching the heart rate. So that's why I do, do walks as well. So I do, I do mix it up with run walk. And I've struggled a little bit with my heart rate today so far. It keeps creeping up, but I'm feeling okay. So as long as I'm feeling okay and able to maintain whatever that pace is, my pace is nice and steady. This is just about time on the feet. Get myself used to being on my feet for long periods. So we should get this about around about 12 miles or so in today. 20 Ks. What are we on now? We're on just over nine and a half. So we might actually do more than I thought. That's because I plotted this route, but the very first part, yeah, the very, very beginning, I actually went a different way. So that would have added a bit of distance on. All good, all good miles. Yep, so just coming up to 10k. So all good. Get back running it, yep. Absolutely beautiful around the lake. Couldn't have chose a better morning. Really pleased. One twelve and a half k. I think we're almost definitely gonna go over to 20k today. That's okay. I've said it once, I'll say it again. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look how blue these skies are. This is the first day where I can honestly say it feels like spring. It genuinely feels like spring has started. Oh. Fifteen and a half k's in. Starting to get a little, a little tired. In fact, I'm not. That's a lie. My legs are feeling a little heavy. And actually, upper body, my chest, my lungs, my head, everything is feeling fine. My legs are just feeling a bit heavy. But we've done 15 k, so the, it's, it's about normal, really. For me, that's about normal. Got the music back on. You can probably hear we're alongside a dual carriageway, so it's a bit noisy. Now I've got a choice, go home from here the quicker way, the more direct route, 
it's about three miles five kilometers and that will see me at 20 k's which is what i said at the beginning i wanted to do because i changed the beginning part of the run just made it a bit further or i go finish the original route which i don't know how much further that is it's going to be another one or two miles which will take me to 20 i don't know 23 k's maybe 24 k's not decided yet i'm going to see how i feel when i get down to the next roundabout at north seaton either way i'm on target for at least 20k so so i'm going to go the longer way the original way seems only fair to the route that i do that and the good news is i'm almost out of water and i was a bit worried that there was going to be nowhere to get any then i remembered there's a new asda at north seaton roundabout perfect pit stop get some here now and then uh, and then I'll be on my way that worked out just nicely got myself a bottle of LucasAid Sport quickly necked that in the forecourt filled up with two bottles of water and we're off we're just over 18 kilometers I've just checked the distance it's 5k to go so that's going to see us at 23 kilometers that's about that far in miles 23 kilometers though that's about 14 miles or so I think I'll take that a week ago I thought I was injured it's great news wow. my legs have told me already enough's enough so we're just gonna walk run it home get back and that'll be us for the day fighting with myself now My legs are, I don't know. My legs are telling me to just stop now. My legs are telling me if I go that way, I'll save about half a mile. My mind's telling my legs to shut up. Just crack on. So, we're just going to crack on. Get it done. hear me over that traffic what I'm doing you might think I don't know if the right decision sometimes is look your legs are tired if it's quicker that way go that way and stop putting so much stress on your on your body do I listen to my body is it to say oh it's telling me to stop stop now the reason I don't do that because it's not like an injury concern it's just I'm tired and I need to practice this because during the ultra every lap I'm going to have the opportunity to stop and I'm going to stop I'm going to take breaks but there's going to be times where I can't stop but I want to and I need to practice that just to get my head used to fighting against it a bit you know so trust me right now I want to stop I do want to stop I want to sit down I'm not going to and that's what I need I need to train that part of my mind as well I need to know that just because there's a shortcut doesn't mean I have to take it I'm going to continue to keep trying that you know even to the point where plotting a route that will give me a shortcut if I want it but refuse it go past it get my mind the same place that I'm trying to get my body I think my mind's going to get there first, if I'm honest. I can play mental games with myself all day. And I'll win that battle. I've just got to keep my body moving at the same time. I hope I'm not talking a load of waffle, because I'm knackered. It's a bit like when you're drunk, isn't it? You, you say stupid things when you're drunk, but you, you wouldn't dream of saying sober. You make yourself look an idiot. Been there. We're at 19.3 kilometers. I'm at that point where I was. I can remember a few months back, I ran a 5K. And I thought to myself at the time, how am I gonna ever run further than this? 
because obviously I hadn't done any training, I hadn't whatever, and I just genuinely couldn't see at the time. Oh, was it? I was at my limit. You know, I was totally at my limit. I feel that way now. I feel to myself. Oh, I've just ticked over 20 kilometers, and I'm looking. I'm thinking, how am I ever going to do more than that? I know I've done more than that already, but I am there now, thinking. Oh, and I know I'll be able to do more. I've just got to keep doing the training, but just again, mental battles that I'm having with myself when I'm tired. My body is saying to me, you're at your limit. And maybe I am, maybe I am, but we need to push that limit up a little bit each week. You need to keep chipping away at it and get that limit increased. And we'll get there, we'll do it. Just give it time and keep consistent. Just over a mile to go and it can bugger off now. I'm done, I've had enough. I want to sit down, I want to get something to eat, and I want to watch the telly. <laughs> oh, I'm in pain. God, this is much harder today. It's nice to be running, either way. That's 22k done. Last kilometre. Look at the positive side. At least I'm running. At least I'm out, at least I'm able. Right, more or less back now. What are we on? Just we've ticked, oh Jesus, I nearly fell. We've tipped over 23 kilometers. It's probably gonna be about 23 and a half, something like that. I'll put it all on the screen. I'm absolutely spent and done, but we got it done. We got round. Whew. And I'll be glad to stop. So I hope your training's going well, guys. Oh. I gotta go. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>